the tornado warning has been issued and you have an estimated 13 minutes to get to a safe place. On average, 1,300 tornadoes hit the U.S. every year. Last month, a tornado outbreak made its way through the southern states. A string of 31 tornadoes ripped through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Tornadoes are complex natural disasters, but breaking it down into three key points can help us simplify our understanding of these superstorms. These three points are hearing reports of current tornadoes and the stories that people say about them, learning about the science behind the formation of the tornadoes, and looking at historical records. What would you do if you were caught in one of these superstorms? The first tornado outbreak of this year happened on January 2nd. As a result, six people in Alabama were killed. Later in January, an additional four people were killed in Mississippi. Reporters from the CNN released that these four deaths occurred around four in the morning, not much time to prepare. This F3 tornado reached winds of up to 165 miles per hour. Hurricane Katrina reached speeds of 174 miles per hour, less than a 10 mile an hour difference. Being from the Midwest, I also have had my fair share of close calls. This is at my cabin when I was trying to have a nice weekend with my friends. Another story of a, of a tornado that I have experienced was in 2010. In June, my mom and I were on our way back home on the highway. It was a humid day and the rain came when we were driving home. After the rain comes the hail. The weather, the air got really cold. <coughs> I looked up through the sunroof and saw the mile wide wall cloud. Behind the wall cloud was a green sky. As I looked to the left, I saw the twister pull right out of the wall cloud. That storm was rated at F4, 166 to 200 miles per hour. The damage was catastrophic. Witnessing the formation of a tornado firsthand is nerve wracking to say the least. The damage that a tornado can cause is directly related to the science behind these superstorms. The NOAA simplified formation of tornadoes into three factors, air instability, water vapor, and vertical shear winds. Hot air at Earth's surface and colder temperatures at the higher altitudes cause an instability in the atmosphere. The water vapor in the clouds is then increased, causing updrafts to occur and a wall cloud to form. The different pressures and the updrafts begin rotating when the vertical shear winds are present. Each year, the magnitude of these factors change, causing seasons of fewer tornadoes to outbreak tornado seasons. The worst year of tornado outbreaks was 1999. 141 tornadoes ripped through the southern and eastern states in January alone. Angela Fritz of the Washington Post expressed the severity of the summer storms in 2015. The seven-day streak of tornadoes pushed 2015 to the second deadliest December with 20 deaths. Forecasters are looking for long-term changes in tornado activity. It is inconclusive, but some scientists believe that climate change can alter wind patterns, creating more vertical wind shears and more favorable conditions of tornadoes. With this information and the record-breaking start to the year, the U.S. may see a larger number of tornadoes this year. What would you do if you had only 13 minutes to determine your future?